Hey guys, and welcome in to another series of Luck of the Irish Cricket. Taking on Zimbabwe in the three one-day internationals. We've got a bit of cricket to cover, uh, actually, because we obviously have the uh, previous tour that we had against the West Indies, where you guys are here for the 200-run wicket defeat. We had a narrow 2-1 loss in this series against the West Indies, and we got an important win, um, I suppose. We'll take it. But first, um, game was disappointing. Uh, 113 all out with Nolan, uh, 55, tech to 20, and nothing else, really. 6 for 26 for Samuel. That man was in incredible form against us. He just ripped, ripped us to shreds, effectively. And everyone else was reasonably tidy there, and that was a comfortable win. Uh, 60 for Lewis, 37 for Morgan, 1 for Little. Next game, we got to 220 for 8. It was a tough surface to bat on. Um, they were all tough this series. 101 off 120 for Nolan. 12 fours, 2 sixes. A pretty good effort. 37 off 72 for Tector. And we scrambled to 220 for 8. So we importantly batted the 50. 3 for 57 for Seals. 2 for 42 for Suko. And 1 for, for Sokdio, um, Samuel and Paul. They've got a lot of experience here, the West Indies. But we bowled them out for 163 with a good performance from Ball. 4 for 28. 2 for Little, Camper and Manly. Went into the deciding match. They got through to 256 with Morgan and Mayers, the mainstay of the innings. Morgan, 9 fours, nine fours and 4 sixes. Mayers, 6 fours and a 6. We fought hard. We toiled. 241 for Little. 244 for Camper. Put quite Thought quite bowled well together. Uh, 1 for 40 for Foster and 2 for 66 for Manly. And in response, we only could get to 203 with Camper. Not out. 94 of 101. 16 boundaries. 71 off 60. 11 fours and a 6 for Hill. And just nothing else. Everyone else won. 5, 0, 0, 5, 2, 0, 1. There was just no contributions. 5 for 34 for Seals. Was deserved to man the match. And they won the series there. But we won the 20 over international series. We're our 8th on the ranking, surprisingly. Got through to 179 uh, with Tector 53. Camper 42 and Doni 37. The main contributors. 4 for 35 for Sook Dio. 4 for 39 for Paul. Got them to 137 for 7. So we bowled reasonably well. Camper 2 for 21. 2 for 24 for Ball. 2 for 23 for Dempsey. Dempsey's been impressive. He's been given a bit of a go uh, this particular series. And you would have seen in the test match here that he... Oh, well, I think maybe in the first test. Did he... No, he may have played... He played a test match anyway, and he's done reasonably well. So he will get an opportunity today. And this is an important series um, against Zimbabwe. So we've got the Zimbabwean series. So he won by two wickets in this thrilling contest here. Um, bowled them out for 336. are 85 and Shumba um, 81. Um, in their innings, they grinded us into a bit of a halt there for a while. Little with another five for against Zimbabwe. He loves playing Zimbabwe. So this is his stats against um, Zimbabwe versus um, country. His stats are remarkable. 51 wickets at 24.55, 33 wickets at 13.97, and 14 wickets at 15. Loves loves a good game against them. 3 for 54 for Foster. Walker 1 for 26 for Bob quite well. So did Dempsey for that matter. 321 in response. Curtis Camper with another 100. 130 out of 369 deliveries. 9 fours and a 6. Walker, 91 of 240. They really worked us back into the contest. Nungu, 6 for 88. Matsamba, 3 for 75. Zimbabwe got through to 308 with Sabanda and Chairaru getting off to a really good start. 106 for the first wicket. And Sabanda uh, managed to get that 100 and his second, hun um, second 100 of his test career. 4 for 82 for Dempsey. Definitely the pick of the bowler. It's 1 for 14 for Walker. 2 for 58 for Manly. 2 for 75 for Little. 329 for Aiden. That man, Tector, finally gets another 100 to his name. And his highest test score. 300s now to his career. He would love to add a few more. Just got to get more consistent. Uh, there. And 80 for Burton. And we just grinded. Just done enough to win that game. So we got an important point in the test series to climb up the rankings and Bubby dominated this game they played well they won by 149 runs Takodza and Shumba caused us problems all series with them top scoring again with Shumba bringing up 100 82 for Takodza 50s to Raro and Sabanda they got the team off to a great start again little 5 for 100 3 for 88 for uh, Dempsey got through to 310 Tector and Camfer um, 87 and 85 were pretty good together um, Tector top scoring Walker 6576 he got a wee bit of a go um, leave it a match. Nungu again, 4 for 83. Masamba, 2 for 98. And Malavu, 
Fury, young up and coming cricketer for them, 3 for 101. Zimbabwe batted reasonably good again, 289 all out with the codes are again standing out with 71. Sabanda 61, 4 for 94 for Little, Ball 2 for 61, 2 for 37 for Camper. In the run chase, 234 out, uh, 234 all out, sorry, um, Tech for 63. And a deserved win for Zimbabwe, they bowled pretty well. Nungu, 3 wickets again, 4 for, for Nadlavu. And Samba 2 for 31. So where does that put us in the world ranking? So we are in 11th. One point behind Afghanistan. Recent form has just meant we've been able to move up. Bangladesh, number one in the world. That is very, very exciting. So if we win this series today, I believe, um, we will effectively jump Zimbabwe. Let's start working our way up there. We've got a long way to go there. And we're eighth in, obviously, the rankings here, trying to close in on Australia. So that's really nice that we've moved up here. Batsman, um, world rankings. Have we got an Irishman in the top 20? Curtis Camper. Curtis Camper, 17th. And then you've got to look for 30th for Dean Burton. Bowlers. Josh Little should be relatively high and 18th. So, yeah, like, obviously, we'll go the... Um, May rankings, 20 over rankings. You can see that we don't have anyone in the top 10 currently. We just need to get more batsmen in that area. Would be great. Um, have I done the coach and physios? Yes, I have. Be an interesting team here today. Um, pretty much looking very solid. Seamus Lynch is going to get a run here today. Donnie has been out of form this season. He's had not too many scores and notes, so he's just got to get that form back. Unfortunately, uh, and we've got Mansfield. We're going to try a bit of a leg. He's been in good form with the ball, so he will get a go over Wayne Ball, who's had a bit of a mixture of a season, really. Like, he's not scoring any runs, not doing anything with the um, ball either, so we, we'll give him out. Dempsey's sort of got ahead of Manly at the moment, just with his good performances. We'd love to improve on his average of 100.5. But, yeah, we've got a few um, interesting players in today. This is going to be a tough series. We have to, we have to win the series. But literally get through will be the key. So I'm going to put Lynch up the order. Ben Oliver will go to seven. Um, yeah, so that's our lineup for today. We've got a very, very key toss to win. We'll bat first. We'll see how we go. Just want to get off to a good start. Hill and Nolan together. Just going to have faith in Roy Hill. He hasn't got the best numbers or, um, at the moment, but he is trying to develop his craft at this level. He's just being thrusted in. Really want Paul Sterling and Val Burney to retire in the domestic scene so we can get regens for them because I think they'll be quality players. So your key is to bat the 50 and get a score on the board and put pressure on Zimbabwe. We, like I said, if we can win this series, we put ourselves in a good position to maybe get into that 50 over World Cup to win the series as well would mean we go ahead of Zimbabwe on the rankings. And we're just showing that we are making some progress in the luck of the Irish series. Oh, that's an edge. Hill has been caught. Masamba's got the wicket. Dean Burton in now. Dean Burton's been relatively quiet in recent times himself. He's sort of he's got to grind out a bit of a moral boosting score. Been quite competitive this series. Um, test matches were one apiece. Nolan gone as well. Just unfortunately out for 18. Tector. Coming off a pretty good series, uh, Tector, actually. Got to read the surface pretty well. Like, we just got to put ourselves in a position where we accumulate. Oh, Burton could have been caught there. And that would have put uh, Ireland under a wee bit of pressure. Six for two. It's probably quite accurate. They'll fancy their chances in this series, and Barbie just been at home in Ireland. Just have a few men out of form, and they're just trying a few different players here. Mansfield and Oliver. It could be a chance for them to really step up in this series. Walker um, will be probably introduced into the team very shortly as well. Um, he had a pretty good test match where he got a 90 odd. Just getting himself in. 80 for 2. Eighty-nine for two after twenty. 
bit of a patch job done by these two. Ninety-six for two on the twenty-fourth. Just hovering above fours at the moment. Two sixty, two seventy could be the score that we sort of aim for. Love to get a bit more than that, obviously, but just got to get ourselves in the game. Good enough bowling unit. Good job. That's cleanly hit from Tector. Gone all the way. Slip that away for four again. So it's a good productive over Ireland. Starting to lift the gear. Yeah, which is great. Burke and gone. So that is just the momentum to cease back. He's gone for 39. Curtis Camp for it now. He's having a grand season, Curtis Camp, with the bat. More productive can he get? He is pretty much going to be an Irishman where he pretty much, I reckon, will get 100 wickets in each format. He's that good of a cricketer. So hopefully we can give him that opportunity to get there. He is handy. He's proven. He's um, on the improve still, so this is good. Now let's just have to duck under that. Just want to get that rate above five if we can. So we're just accumulating again a partnership. Good shot from Tector. And that's 50 for Harry Tector. That's his 33rd 50. And you think with all those 50s he would be able to convert, but he hasn't been able to. He's 30 runs away from 4,000 runs too. Great to see him convert um, a few more of these uh, 50s into 100s. Got to pick him for his experience. So he's just such a consistent guy to get to those scores. I want to be going down as your career as just someone that couldn't convert and have one of the worst conversion rates in um, cricket history. Well, there, Curtis Camper. That's a good shot. It's starting to get off the bat pretty well. We've built partnerships here, which is more important. Just trying to lift a wee bit in gears here. Curtis Camper, that's going to miss. I think I'm missing it a few Curtis Camper. He's just got to work his way through it. Good shot. That's a beautiful sweep shot. Should be around the 190 mark before the um, onslaught. Uh, tector has gone and he just is a man that gets to that 50 and then gets himself out. So he's out of here for 64. Seamus Lynch getting an opportunity here today. Stake his claim for that uh, wicket keeping position. A lot of work to do for the Irish if they are to post something competitive in this first game. It's a good shot down the ground. James Lynch, you'll go. You'll go for 13. 97 for 5. It's just gone a wee bit nowhere in the last few overs. What a launch here, Ireland. 250 is in the game. This camper will be wanting a little bit more than that, though. He, he is very capable. Sort of getting a few big 15 to 20 run overs. It's a good shot. He's had to graft a wee bit. And he will bring up another half century. He's been in great form this season. Get that into the leg side. We're pretty safe there. 54 off 70 for Curtis Camper. His 25th 50 at one day international level. He's closing in on 4,000 runs himself. Average of 44. That is a great average um, for the all rounder. Now the fireworks will um, start, hopefully. And he's gone. He's picked up the edge. Camper will depart for 60 off 72. Brings Dominic Mansfield to the crease. Opportunity for the leg spinner. So keep going here. Just keep having belief that we can sneak a score over 250 minimum. Oh, this is 
So they're getting pretty tight towards that score, and it's, it's falling apart. So Barbie have bowled well throughout. One for 13. We've got two overs to bat. So we're going to be out for 241. A disappointing effort at the end. May not be enough against this um, Zimbabwe side. They're going to need a good start with the ball. Dempsey, can he get some momentum into his career? It's a good wicket. Wesley Madhivri is gone. For 10. Strikes. Dempsey, he will get his average under 100. Here we go. Got an early breakthrough. 58 for 2. Bring in Mansfield early. Let's see how we go with him attacking. Bring in Foster. Come on, shake off that. Shake off that. I don't... I, it's going to have to stay there. It's so annoying because you, you can't... Um, it'll, it'll shuffle out anyway. want to see what the bowling figures are. So Chumbo will work that down there. That's not a good um, run to take on the arm there, and he's gone. Correct hit. Very tight bowling from the Irish. And so it'll just continue on, I suppose. Um, we'll get Curtis Camper in now. Chris Camper will be searching for another 10 wickets to bring up 100 in um, One Day Internationals. Bring Josh Little back. We have to be probably a little bit aggressive here. We need to strike here immediately. Just to get Zimbabwe out of their comfort zone. But looking good, Zimbabwe here. 137 for 3. Beryl and Tokodza. Looking very solid. Dempsey. We'll have the attack too, and um, we'll bring Foster back. We haven't got enough runs on the board. We just desperately need that wicket. Finally got one. It's a code, so can we cause a wee mini collapse and a bit of panic in the Zimbabwe camp? It's a good delivery in the end. She runs at 40. Looks like Zimbabwe may take this first game of this very important series. Bring Josh Little back. Josh Little had three fives against them last time. Might be doing that again. It's been a good performance here for Zimbabwe in the run chase. We just simply didn't score enough. They will take um, this game quite convincingly. 241 for four. It's a good chase. Very well chased. Barrel 90. Um, good good winnings from him. 43 off 34 from Nalavu. And we've just got to bounce back and we'll try to win a few games in this series. A lot tougher to beat them at home. Uh, Doany um, might have to come back. Seamus Lynch will get there. Manly. We bring Manly back. Thirty-three. Didn't bowl too badly. Dominant Mansfield. Uh, we will. Do we bring back the veteran Mark Adair? No, we don't. I think we bring Wayne Ball in. Take a bit of a risk on the order. A wee bit being a bit light on the batting. I think Dempsey bowled all too badly. What's the bowling form for Manly like? Foster and Beer. Yeah, so that's going to be our adjustment to our team there. Like, we've just got to score a few more runs. Back the team in. And um, hopefully we can take uh, this to the final game of the uh, series. So we're looking to be aggressive up front. Let's get into good channels. So we're batting very well in the series. So Bunda and Wesley Mahivri. Really good. Uh, Camper. I want to get 3-0. and We've got to at least take a game. We've just got to keep accumulating those points. It's going to be super important. Finally, we get a breakthrough. And Curtis Camper will get Ireland on the board for a wicket. Dempsey strikes again. He's... Like I said, he's really mature at Dempsey, which is great. It's gives us another bowling option in our stocks. So for one, so his average is really plummeting very nicely. Very nicely down. Or if it's one for 36, we'll bring Mansfield in. 
extra bowling options today. Two overs for 20 G for as we are just really struggling to put any pressure on Zimbabwe. Ball's been kind of expensive. Uh, we'll bring Foster back. Just have to tidy up a wee bit here. They, they're looking over 300 Zimbabwe. They'll be looking to clean up the series and looking to 3 0 us just to put the World Cup um, campaign for us on a pretty much a dicey path. It's been slightly off of the ball in this uh, series so far. Ball to barrel. He'll go. He'll go for 56. So 100 for um, Wesley Mahivri. That's his second 100 at the level. This camp for will be back. I think we're chasing something th 350 plus. We just haven't been on today. This camp will strike. It's starting to fight back a little bit. Three wickets for Curtis Camp for now. So that bowling option, which is the main thing. Gonna have to hunt. Gonna have to just bowl them out. They are well ahead of where I wanted them to be. Five overs left um, of Carnage. 324 for six, Zimbabwe. Three hundred and fifty-seven for seven. One hundred and seventy-one for Wesley Mahebri. Brilliant batting. His career is so taking a wee bit of a leap there. We have to take the bowling on now if we are to stay in the series. This looks like we're not going to get any ranking points, and we'll be a little bit behind Zimbabwe still. see some youth towards Ubriance and get off to a wee bit of a flyer here. That would be the key. Looks like the back foot that is four. We need to play some shots because uh, the run rate will creep up otherwise. And it's six and over at the moment which is one run behind where we need to be. Burton. Looks like Burton may be out. He's tried to slog there and it's not paid off. Tector. Give me 25. 47 for two. Gonna need something very special here, Ireland, to take down the score. Tector gone for five. Brings Curtis Camper in. Just, just weave it down um, on form and that's all it takes for one of these teams to sort of punish you especially if you're Ireland cricket with a little bit less depth than everyone else and everyone firing on the cylinders he has been dropped it's an opportunity for him to keep going here we need a performance from Roy Hill 39 off 32 deliveries so far just love to see someone get going at full flight here Give the Zimbabweans a bit of a um, two for thought. Set past the fielder, that's four. 75 for three now. Curtis Camper just hits that out of the uh, stadium. Massive six. And he's hit one just over the rope. That is a big over for Harlan. 87 for 2, uh, 87 for 3 after 12. Just gotta get Hill. Confidence to keep going. He's run a tight single there, he'll be fine. It's 
sweeping the ball quite well. No one there for Zarfield for Zimbabwe. Encouraging that sweep. So we need this to go on a long time if we add a sort of mounted challenge. It's good delivery from Malavu. 22 for 3. I think he's got enough on that hill. He has. He's hit that over the um, fence for six, and that's 50 for him. Just gets it past the diving keeper. He's really um, played a few miscues. That's well hit from Curtis Camper. A couple of bounces for 103 for three. to get the run rate out of control. Just got to keep going here. Build that partnership. And that's six. 21 off the over. 113 for three after 14. Chris Camper hits that over the fence too. He's got his eye in. So how long he gets his eye in for. It's just one miscue and it's all over. That's 50 for Curtis Camper. That's a quick fire 50. Played and missed it. That one. 52 off 25 deliveries. 5 fours, 5 sixes in that innings. So Ireland 131 for 3. Long way out of this game. Like, it just feels though like one wicket will turn this game. And that's just another 6 for Curtis Camper. So he's hit 6 sixes in his innings now. so far and he's just hit a seventh six he's having a bit of fun with the uh, spinners at the moment sort of got in a tangle on that one and that's an eighth six for Curtis Camper destructive from the all-rounder rocks off the back foot that's four more Want to ease pressure on his partner here. Oh, he's driven a miss there. 84 or 42. 8 fours, 8 sixes. Phenomenal innings. And he's gone for the boundary again. Another boundary. He's just rocketing the score um, along. 187 at 6.2 and over. 94 or 52. Has to be an innings that has to keep going though, if we are to challenge. Uh, this mammoth score from uh, Zimbabwe. Hill's stuck round. He's got to play his part too. He's gone. That is not ideal. He'll go. Doanee's in. We need, need a score from Doanee today. We really do. Curtis Camper playing and missing it a few now. He'll be a bit tired after his Herculean efforts. And he's brought up another 100, Curtis Camper. What a what a knock. 100 off 60 deliveries. That is a very special knock. 800 in his career. 4,000 runs brought up with that boundary. And he has to keep going for his side. He has to find a way of getting this team over the finish line. Just keeps, keeps trying to slog. Can need some production out of all the batsmen today. Just... Plays another beautiful shot, another boundary. Breaking in the boundaries now. 111 off 66. And one bounce four. Tony desperately trying to get himself in. He's been out of form all season. Plays a beautiful drive, gets it past the diving fielder. Pressure off Curtis Camper while he's sort of hitting at one end. Seven overs, none for 86. Curtis Camper's taking a real liking to him, and he's gone! He's got the wickets. Finally, Curtis Camper has been dismissed. 117 off 76, 14 fours, 8 sixes, what a knock. 
can Ireland sort of consolidate a wee bit here now get another partnership going really need to keep keep the scoreboard ticking over Donny breaks the gap that sadly could be the could be it he was looking so good in that innings Get out of these batsmen here. We have very little batting to um, come in. Oh, that's a terrible run. <laughs> run yourself out, Donny. What are you doing? 228 for six. We see some potential from Wayne Ball uh, today. He hasn't scored too many runs in his career at a high average. Let's see if we can take this game relatively deep. 21 at 6 and over. Let's see what average is around the 25 in his career. At least we're giving us a fair nudge anyway. We're trying to trying to keep going here as long as we can. It's a good shot. Finds the gap. This guy's persistent. Miscued that man seal, but we'll take it. It's four. Eight off the over. So the runs are flowing off the bat. And ball's gone for 19. Brings Foster to the crease. 262 for seven. Foster can bat. He has proven that he can bat from time to time. And we're going to need him here today. We need something special from uh, the lower order. Seventy for seven. Just didn't do a good enough job with the ball. This is what sort of let us down. Oh, how has he not hit that? And how has that not hit the stumps? It's gone for thirty-four, and the Irish effort is sort of falling apart a wee bit now. going to be a disappointing series loss we've just got to make sure we get a win at least in this away series just so we can just accumulate another one in the one day thing and keep ourselves a chance making the world cup 50 over but we've missed a couple of the additions now foster that before we get 300 for our efforts. He's out. Try to s smash that and he's been dismissed, unfortunately. He's waiting for that moment to um, finish here. 26 for 9. Falling apart. Can they wrap this up, Zimbabwe? I'm just trying to bet for a little bit of respectability here now. That could be out. And it is. Dempsey's gone for naught, and Zimbabwe won by 66 runs. We're given a fright there for a while from special innings from Curtis Camper. Um, who do, continues to deliver good performances, but it's a loss, more importantly, and a series loss here against um, Zimbabwe. So we're playing for a bit of pride. Uh, Manly will pop into the team. We'll give um, Foster a wee bit of a break. Uh, ben Oliver will come in for Wayne Ball. And we're just a wee bit light on the, um, uh, yeah, the batting side of things, but we'll give that a bit of a whirl, um, make that one change, and see how we get on. Uh, we'll bat first in this game. We need, we really need to sort of hone in. Every game's important, um, obviously, because we're part of the one-day championship. We're looking to qualify for that World Cup. So not good losing to a series to Zimbabwe, but we've just got to try and minimise that. Up for naught. Fortunately, Hill. Dean Burton.
Curtis Cam for his all-round ability has been absolutely outstanding in this um, particular um, year, uh, calendar year. He's really stepped up another notch. Is that off the hip, Nolan? That is four. I think the young openers will get better too. Like we've got three promising ones at the very least. Um, we've got a wee bit of depth in that department. Guerrero got absolutely tonked everywhere in the last game, but he stuck her out and he got the wicket of Camper in the end. So the key is just to build that partnership again and just rely on um, our experience. We've got an experience Irish lineup these days. Like uh, Burton, and Tector and Camper have been around the scene a wee while and Doany trying to get Ben Oliver and Mansfield that valuable experience as well because they could be called upon at some point. Burton has gone for 41. A bit annoyed with that Burton. he got to wee start. Like that's the problem we've got with Irish cricket at times. Like men get to 50. We're close to a 40-50 run score, and then they get out. The 42, it's just got to rebuild now. Like, the two men that were in got to the 40s and got out. and Barbie sweep us back here. Good shot. It's no ball as well. well I suppose it all round is with the team. Tector can bowl. Um, we just treat him as a batsman in this team. Just hasn't really done anything with the ball for us, but he has taken over 300 first class wickets, which is what I find baffling. Camper. Can he repeat the heroics of last game? Just looking to build a partnership with Tector in this game. He had nothing to lose. He had a license to have in that last game. Just wish it went on a wee bit longer just to put Zimbabwe in that mindset of they may lose that game. Fortunately, um, he got out of a pivotal period. Another start here for Harry Tector. And he's gone. Here we go, he's gone for 34. Camper will continue on his merry way. Chop and Dotty gets that away for four. One fifty nine for five. It's not looking too good for a big score for Ireland cricket at the moment. We bet a wee bit deeper than usual today with Mansfield and next, but these two have just got to grind it out for a little bit. Give our team a chance to maybe bowl Zimbabwe out um, in the last game of the one day uh, series. Gets it away for four. Love Ben Oliver to get a few runs too. Like he's the next generation, really. Tony works out away for four. A lot of starts in this Irish innings. Who's going to be the one that gets that big score? Gets us over that score. We need to get over. Just accumulating these two at the moment. Trying 
the better, Stephen Doherty's better innings um, in a while, actually. So sort they've of had to um, deliver. Not a 38 for Ben Oliver. He's sort of just done his job. It's a six. It's a good shot. And that's 50 for Stephen Doherty as well. Free hit for Oliver. He takes full toll of that and gets it away for four. So yeah, we'll just definitely just got to keep things moving along. It's a good shot again. That's gone all the way for six. Quite good. 63 or 57, 32 or 46 for Oliver. There is seven overs to bat. And a chance for um, Ireland to get a substantial score in this innings. He's run out Doheny for 63. That's not what you want. Just why did you take on that run? Two youngish all rounders together now. Mansfield gone for four. Just capitulated a wee bit at the pivotal time when Ireland wanted to launch. Can we eke out a, just a score that can put Zimbabwe under that pressure? Has Oliver got enough on that? I don't think he has. He's gone two. He's gone for 37. 252 for eight. Man, they've been stumped. He's trying to bat out the overs now. He gets a valuable boundary. A wee bit of an edge there. The two overs to bat. And gone. 262 out. We just couldn't bat the overs. Doherty getting a um, score at the very least. Seventh, uh, 50 at the level. He's a fighting keeper for us. Um, he's done a reasonable job um, with us there. So New Zealand 282 to chase there. Any originals? Ravindra is still there. 30. Smith 31. Keen still there. He plays in domestic. Yeah, Bangladesh, South Africa. Just going over that. So can we get onto a bit of a rhythm here? Bring in Dempsey. Camper. Good restrictions have ended, so we'll get the field and that out. Looking to bowl in good channels here. We don't want to over pitch here. We just want to make the ball do it, do the talking itself. Need a wicket though. Been reasonably economical till then. Okay, Mansfield. Hopefully, this young leggy can sort of just get into a bit of a rhythm. Get some wickets. We'll bring Little back uh, for a little three over spell. Sort of searching for another wicket. Six overs, none for 16. One for 26 for um, Mansfield. Manly back in. 115 for one. Zimbabwe again, to their credit, are looking good. They are looking very, very ominous. Shumba is gone. Manly strikes at a key time. We'll bring Dempsey in. Just going to try and bowl our good bowlers out just to try and rattle Zimbabwe just a tad. 115 at 6.3, but they are in comfortable control of this chase. Curtis Camp for now. Little, he'll come back for two overs. We'll get burled. So that's a good that's a good delivery. He's got the wicket of Sabanda as well. So they've lost a their um couple of key batsmen here. So is got 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 more importantly Ireland back into this game. So it's got accurate bowling. Camper out. Uh, we'll bring Mansfield in. Mansfield one for twenty-eight. 
Just trying to trust him with the ball a little bit. Madanda gone. That is stumped. Little to bowl pretty much, um, I think, out here. 35 needed. Just not too many um, runs to play with um, here for um, Ireland. Need the wicket from somewhere and they're probably not going to get it. We're going to get swept. More importantly, in a series that we probably needed to win. Zimbabwe have done a job on Ireland in this series. Won it quite convincingly. Just not quite good enough for the ball in the series. And yeah, that drops us into that zone where we're not in qualifying spots. Mm, okay, so the important thing is we've got to keep fighting in those series. Next up's the 20 over series, guys. But you'll be back for the season review. So join us there. Smash the like button, share with a friend. We'll see you next time.